Hey, what's up, guys? So, I'm back with this week's Sanga Poker video. And so, for today's video, I decided I would up it to 100 million for the uh, sit and go. So, let's give this a try. So, so far, I've only done 50 million. Now, I'm going to do 100 million. So that's the max you can do. It's the first time ever, so let's see if I win. Just gotta make sure I'm recording here. Yep, looks like looks like I'm all good. Claim those. So this will be my first time doing the 100 million sit and go. I can tell I'm going to be with like a lot of like semi pro players or like really good amateur players. Like you can tell like everybody's got like 16, le they're level 16, level 17, there's a level 14, level 15, level 19. That's probably the highest I've seen. The guys even got like a little cactus, looks like. As you can see, I've kind of been lazy. Um, I've just stuck around League 7. The max I've made it to, I think, is League 14. So if you look at my... Oh, League 15, actually. So I only made it to there once. I was in League 14 for 14 weeks. And then you can kind of see what I've done. So I pretty much stayed in the intermediate the last few weeks. But I was... Um, last time, like last year, I was all the way up here, so I hit 15 once. It's the highest I've ever gone. Never the top tier, though. <clears throat> so, I think, like I, like I normally do, I'm gonna play it safe here. So, I got some tickets there, but I'll fold here. <clears throat> like, yeah, everybody is a level 14 or higher. There's only one that's at 14. Everyone else is 15 or higher, except for me and this other person. So these, these guys know what they're doing, so I'm going to have to play at my best to win this. Can't make any, any dumb moves. No dumb moves. It looks like somebody's going to have a flush right here. Maybe only one pair. So there you go. Pair of aces to start off with. So yeah, this everyone's taking it pretty seriously, so This is like a big portion of like my chip count. Like I have about I have about uh 1.3 million or 1.3 billion, I'm sorry, uh, chips. So this is this is maybe like 7% of my entire like chip income, so it's a big deal. <clears throat> it looks like, again, you know, people are playing it safe. I think one of the guys probably has, has a king. Um... Probably the taco guy, so it's like he got he has like a Doritos Locos taco. My favorite taco at Taco Bell, by the way. Alright, so I'm playing my first hand. I don't have much. Probably gonna end up folding here. Yeah, I mean there's no way I have the best hand here. Yeah, 6 is not going to do it. Somebody has... Probably somebody has an ace. Probably win. Yep. So, can't really do much with 6-5. I just had to play that. So, I think we're playing with two bots. 
So I'm not really sure how Zanga Poker works, but I think they need to have like certain bots play because I don't think they have enough people to like actually like fill like these tournaments that ha are happening like every minute. So I, I'm pretty sure like like this guy, I'm gonna click on him. Like Ross, I'm pretty sure this is a bot. And then the Doritos Locos guy. Alex, I'm pretty sure he's a bot too. But everyone else, they look like normal people. At first I thought they might have been like avatars that you could choose. But after like thinking about it, I think they actually are bots. Like I've I've heard like people complain about them, like on this on this app. Oops. But I was never really sure if they actually were bots. And I'm I'm starting to believe it's bots because I don't actually believe enough people play this game anymore. I feel like this game used to be really popular. Like, you know, they it would tell you how many people were online. You know, I think it, it might still do that, but... You know, it used to say, like, 100,000 people are on, or 300,000 people are on. You know, the last time I looked at it, it was probably, like, 50,000 people were on, you know, you know, 30,000 people were on. So I don't think as many people play this game. I could be completely wrong, but... I'm pretty sure not as many people play this game anymore. <clears throat> but that's okay. That just means it's easier for me to win money and my content to be more popular, right? <clears throat> so, so far I've had pretty bad hands. So, I pretty much just... I don't think I've had anything higher than like a 10 so far. Maybe I have, I just haven't noticed. Yeah, that, that one guy, this guy. Brett, he looks like he's pretty serious. Like he's a level 200, he's, you know, rank 19. Yeah, this dude, this dude is serious. He's got like some weird cactus trophy. Like this guy, this guy's serious, so I better watch out for him. <clears throat> Um, this guy's probably hit level 20, actually. Let me see here. Yep, he's hit level 20. Six times, actually. Jeez. This dude probably has to play, like, 100 million tables, like, all the time. Just to stay in, like, the Master League. Because in order to, like, move up to, like, the Master League... Like, my highest level is 15, and that's still, like, three levels off. Like, you have to, like, get... To level 16, I think, you have to at least get, like, you know, $300 million worth of chips. Which is... That's that's pretty hard to do. Like, you've got to win a lot of these tournaments. you got to put a lot of money on your... Put a lot of money on the line. Let's take a look at his total chip count. Okay, so... He's got an $11 billion wallet, so that makes sense. His biggest one is 13 billion. You can kind of see my stats here too. You saw this last week, but but yeah, that's that's his stats. So it looks like so it looks like uh, Doritos Locos lost a hand there. <clears throat> Still nothing higher than a 10. I feel like I'm going to have to bluff a lot more in this game. Um, I mean, once you know, once it gets down to it, it's going to get really intense. <clears throat> like, everyone's, everyone's playing pretty safe so far, which is to be expected. This isn't like a 100k sit-and-go. I remember back in the day, they used to be like, big time for me. Now it's like, that's just like nothing to me. I remember last year, one of my old friends, he like texted me and he was like, hey, you know, I noticed you're playing Zanga Poker. And I told him, yeah. And he was like, what, what do you usually play? And I say, sit and goes. And he says, you know, what, what amount do you usually play, play at? I say like five to 10 million. And he's like, whoa, that's high roller shit. You know, like I usually go 500k to 1 million all in here. Let me just watch this. So only six people left. But yeah, so 
he was pretty impressed by the whole five to ten million dollar range. Now I now I usually do fifty million because I'm I really don't I really don't care as much as I used to, but I still I still kind of like playing this just casually I guess. So it looks like I got pocket fours here. I mean I got a pair of fours. Um, I'm surprised that guy didn't bet. Um, he's probably using like some next level stuff right now, so. I didn't lose anything. Uh, I mean, I did lose the 600k, but I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna win there. So I think. I think I'm gonna play this hand here. And I got nothing. So Doritos Locos decides to bet. I'm gonna fold. This is. I know I really can't win this way. The problem is, I just feel like. You just can't, you just can't give up anything, you know what I mean? Like, you have to, you actually have to have something, and then you actually have to play it well. Oh, so here we go. Damn, like, it's just basically like two people have all the chips right now. So I'm in the final five, we're only 11 minutes in. So that actually went a little bit faster than I thought. <clears throat> So I guess while we got some downtime, I guess I can talk about kind of what I did, kind of what's happened to me recently. So I think I want to say okay, I want to talk talk about this one one moment I had yesterday. So I was in Macy's, uh, you know, just shopping at like one of their stores, and um, you know, I was at the clearance rack or whatever. I wanted to get like a you know, a cheap shirt or whatever. And there was this guy, he was like in a suit and tie, you know, he's all dressed up and whatever. And he comes up to me, you know, like, so So what happens first is I'm looking kind of through the clothes or whatever, and then I yawn, and then he's like, oh, so you're, oh, you are you tired? So he goes up to me, he's like, oh, are you tired? And I say, yeah, I am. He's like, did you work today? And I said, no, I didn't. I mean, I said I did work. And he was like, oh, you know, that's, yeah, work can be kind of tiring. So, I thought it was kind of weird. So all of a sudden, he started asking about me, like, like, hey man, like, like, where you work and like, you know, where are you from? And you know, I, I kind of started to answer some of those questions. It was kind of weird. Like, I usually don't interact with str strangers, but he seemed really nice. He seemed really friendly. And so I decided, you know, to just keep, keep talking to him. And so, I did that. And, you know, he, he seemed genuinely interested in, like, my job and, you know, where I was from. He even, like, tried to figure out what race I was, which was funny. But, you know, we, we talked for, like, you know, 15, 20 minutes straight. You know, just here in Macy's, a guy I've never met before. And he's, and he's like, a super nice guy. And I'm just thinking, like, hey, you know, like, this is, this is kind of cool, you know, like, Maybe he could possibly even be my friend in the future. You know, I just moved here recently, so I'm always looking for more friends. And he's like, but then, but I, in the back of my head, I knew it was kind of weird. And so about 20 minutes in, he finally turns the conversation into like a business, pro pro business proposal. So he's like, hey man, you know, like, you know, you want to get some pot coffee, you know, like, you know, in a couple days, you know, just talk about this, you know, this, this business thing I got, you know, and I'm like, what, what business thing? He's like, oh yeah, you know, I'm just part of, you know, Team ISI. And I'm like, what, what in the hell is Team ISI? I have no idea what that is. And he's like, oh yeah, you know, it's just this, this thing, you know, it's, you know, you, it's, it's a passive income. It's like, you just got to buy in and then you basically you know, you'll make money from there. And I'm like, okay, you know, seems, seems legit. So I do that. And I mean, I don't do that. And he's like, oh yeah, you know, here we go. You know, this is, this is me. And like, I mean, okay, well, I just lost there, but I, I thought I had that one, but all right, well, I guess, I guess that video was kind of cut short. Sorry guys. Um, you know, I guess guess I didn't win, but that's all right. Um.
I'll see you guys next time. Uh, actually, before I say that, so I just wanted to mention, like, this guy, he basically tried to get me to join an MLM, and I was not having it. Like, he was like, he didn't even have a business card. I mean, if somebody ever comes up to you and is like, oh, you know, like, just join this, this thing I got, you know, going on, and they don't give you any other information, you know, they just tell you the thing, they don't give you, like, a business card or any, like, handouts or anything not that you should ever join an mlm but like if they don't even like give you anything like a business card or anything like that like don't even join it like i mean don't even don't even like keep talking to the guy just what i did you know like to end the conversation i was like hey man like you know it's good to meet you you know i put my hand out there and like he had to like shake my hand and then it was kind of like a way for me to like get out of the situation so yeah i mean it was it was kind of a weird situation, but anyways, I finished in fifth place. Not that impressive, but I'll see you guys next time. Peace.